What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. Today we're gonna print a nice Game of Thrones chair. That's right. We're gonna print a Game of Thrones chair for business cards. You can use it to hold business cards. I was looking at a couple different designs. I was looking at one that was actually really cool. It had uh, you know, the throne with all the swords in it and it made it so you can actually place your ink pens in there. But today what I'm gonna do is actually print one that can actually hold all my business cards. I'm here in the warehouse. Right now, I mean, it's a mess as always. Right now my business cards are in that little clear tray there. So every time a customer comes in, I just simply grab it, pull it out the tray. But I thought it'd be pretty cool to display up there with some of my other 3D printed stuff or my Funko Pops or my other gaming stuff to just simply have a Game of Thrones chair. I thought that would be really, really cool. So I'm gonna print one. The thing is this design is gonna be a little bit more complex than the ones I normally do because it's going to take a lot longer on the model price select mini so i'm looking forward to it it's going to be one of my longer designs chubba chubba i like that name he actually published it on june 2015 so chubba chubba excellent job excellent details i like the rounded base you can see uh the other so it should come out like this hopefully so shout out to chubba chubba let's check the print so far so good also you see i used my new tape so instead of scraping that other one off i just simply snatched it off of there your boy just ripped it off but it's coming through i think i like the rounded base better it just to me it just adds more more of a feel I, I don't know i could be wrong but i didn't want to go another 10 hours with this so i figured i better stop while i'm ahead at least get this one started i'm at lovely zero percent got my extruder temperature at 225 the platform is at 70 the speed is at 1.0 i'm going to speed it up to like 1.5 actually i'm just going to let it run through but i'm not going to be here for no eight hours and 15 minutes that would put me to yeah like almost midnight but this is coming out pretty good so far i like it i like it i like it i like it a lot so this is actually going to be a good test when i'm done for today i'm just going to hit that pause printing and i'm going to keep my fingers crossed that when i come in tomorrow i can just resume i'm not going to shut it down i'm not going to do anything so the cool thing is is once you pause your printing your temperature and everything is going to drop down so either i'm going to come in tomorrow or the warehouse is going to be burned down or i should be able to continue since i'm at zero percent i should actually just cancel it and start it again tomorrow but i'm just going to see what happens so here we go guys the total time says 25 hours and 14 seconds i left it on overnight because i wanted to pause the printing which i kind of don't recommend because even though you pause it and you turn the temperatures down this will still stay at 30 degrees your extruder and also your platform will stay at a minimum of 30 degrees so this fan kind of ran all night we got cameras so i kind of monitored everything over there and made sure the warehouse didn't burn down can't lose our place of business it came out nice let's get this guy off of there all right guys we got it off of there this is what it looks like that came out really nice except for this in there it kind of messed up a little bit and you see it is a little bit stringy but i was doing a lot of research on how to fix that up see, as you see you got the little hole there so you can run your charger through there and it comes out the back so you can display it you got your iron thrown there it's looking really nice it's looking really nice i like it a lot but i kind of want to do one more because i did so much research on how you're supposed to set your the speed and the distance to prevent the stringy effect but i think i have a nice diy here on how to get rid of the strings so there we have it guys look at that take a look at that i cleaned it up a little bit there got rid of a lot of the little string effect it's a couple little things i'm gonna have to tidy up that little piece there i'll just snip it off but overall besides this area here where it kind of misprint and you can't really tell especially since it's on the black it almost looks like it's a part of it plus you want to have that kind of look as if it's been used it's the iron throne and it's been passed through generations or should i say taking through generations and overall i mean it looks really really nice i need a bigger 3d printer so i can print me an actual life-size iron throne this is really cool now this was actually part of the print but like i said it's supposed to have some defects to it but overall the quality looks really nice your phone will sit right there you just simply run the cord through there your cord will actually come out the back end there to plug into the wall therefore you have it hidden it's not going to be revealed it's 
not for blackberries but i can put my blackberry there but drop your iphone in there i'm gonna have to get a bigger 3d printer i'm gonna print a life-size iron throne but i like this this turned out really nice wait i got something that's what i got i got one one sorry one one spoiler for the folks who didn't see it you might want to stop watching now but he got the little arrows through them and one through the eye from that a hole i think this is about roughly the size one one would be in the actual chair <laughs> so that's pretty cool So guys, let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Mad DIY, signing out. Peace.